Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and with the official launch of Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 being pushed out, I wanted to show you the top six features or the best tips and tricks you need to know with the camera and as well as the gallery now that you have the newest Samsung One UI version. Now this one right here, if you're not a part of the beta program and you're waiting for the stable official launch of One UI 6 with Android 14, the size will be right around three gigs. Now, if you're already a part of the beta program and you've gone all the way through beta nine, the update that you will see will only be right around 350 megabytes. Now, this one was originally and first pushed off inside of Germany, then it moved its way over into the UK, Norway, Finland, and a few additional countries. And I'm waiting for this one to officially launch here in the United States. And hopefully I'll be able to see it here on the Galaxy S23 FE. So this way I can get the full stable public launch on that device and then I can see and compare it versus my little beta sitting over here, which they are really the exact same update. Now, the down low of everything that's happened on Samsung One UI 6.0, you're gonna see a new font, the new and updated weather and camera widgets. There's a new lock screen customizations. They redesigned the quick settings and the notifications panel. There's richer data inside of the weather application. There's new emoji styles. There's tweaks inside of the camera application, multitasking improvements in the gallery app. Bixby text call is now supported in more languages. There is a auto blocker feature which blocks installation of applications that are unauthorized from the App Store. There's so many things happening in this update. I've covered it several times. Now, because there are so many things that has been updated and changed with Samsung One UI 6.0, I'll actually place two videos below this one inside of the description. Take a look at those two videos. I'm basically showing off the best features or the top 10 features or everything that's brand new with Samsung One UI 6.0. Now, because today we're focusing on the camera in the gallery, the first thing that I wanna show you with this video here is inside of the settings on the very top left-hand side, You'll see this option right here that's called scan documents and text. You definitely want to turn this one on, especially if you take pictures of paperwork or contracts or manuals. And it's a way that it's able to be stored and saved in your phone as if you scanned it and it looks very professionally done. You can even send it off to businesses or whoever. Now inside of here, you have two additional options, which is a auto scan. So this way you just place the paper or document in front of the camera. It'll automatically scan for you and then also turn this one on, which you're able to remove unwanted objects. So if you have a paper clip on the, the piece of paper, or if you're actually holding onto it, it will delete your finger or the paper clip. So again, you can delete unwanted objects. So one of the things that I did today was I wanted to show off exactly how you're able to get this done. So I basically just did a screen record. I put this little manual in front and I had that auto scan document turned on. It was able to pick it up automatically and here is the end result. Now, if you remember at the very beginning, my thumb was actually on there. So if we go back to the very, very beginning, what you're gonna notice is that it's able to completely delete that unwanted object, which is my thumb. So all I did was I placed the manual or the paper in front of the camera. I did absolutely nothing and it was able to do it automatically for me. And here is the result. Now, feature number two, this is one that's really fun to do. It's built inside of the gallery. And what you can do is you can take a picture that looks similar to this and you can turn it into this. And it's called AI image clipping. You can basically clip anything out of an image. If it's an object, if it's a person, whatever you would like to do, and you're able to place that into another image. So for example, let's say that we click right over here, I'd be able to press and hold on a object, person, or thing. And then once you do that, you can save it as a sticker. You can even save it as an image itself, but I wanna save it as a sticker because I wanna place this onto another image. So when you go to the very, very top, let's say that we go over into a completely different image. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place him inside of this pumpkin or even next to this pumpkin. So all you have to do is hit on the little edit button. Then you move over into this image here, which means stickers, drawing, and text, and you just head over into stickers. Now you have all these different stickers that you can throw in there, but we're gonna go inside of gallery because this is where we clipped him out. So we can place him into either this pumpkin or even next to the pumpkin, wherever it may make sense. So we can make him a little bit smaller, do any of the tiltings and everything that you would like to do or need to do. You can also copy and basically have two or three of him sitting there. You can even reverse the image so he's kind of tilted that way. And then this is the image. So you can almost make it look as if, if I spent a little bit more time making it look super realistic that he's sitting there. And then I can hit on save. Now, the other thing that they have built inside of this is when you make any type of changes to an image, 
you can simply and easily revert it back to the original and then you're able to save it again. So whatever you just did is now completely gone, but you can always go back in and remake any of the changes. But it's really fun that you're now able to do something that's called AI image snipping or clipping. And the other thing that I can also do is let's say that I have a really nice image and I'm you know trying to create a little YouTube video. I can clip out pictures like this, create them as stickers and put them into my thumbnail. So this way it'll even look even more professional. So there's a lot of really good use case scenarios that you can use the AI image clipper. Now, feature number three is one that I believe I need to wait for the official launch. So for me, it's going to be 350 megabytes. For you guys, it'll be three gigs. And it's going to be a lot of changes inside of the Galaxy Enhance X application. So if you don't have the Enhanced Galaxy X app yet, make sure you go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. And really, all you got to do is just go right inside of the Galaxy Store. And then on the top right hand side, make sure you type in Galaxy X or the Galaxy Enhance X. And once you find it, you want to download it. I believe once I get the update, the latest official stable launch pushed out, then I will be able to see an update here because there's a lot of really nice features that they added into this application. So I believe they added in like five or six things that I currently cannot do right now. Um, but there's a lot of really nice things that I can do currently, but there's going to be at least five or six new features added in. So that is what I'm going to wait for. Whenever that does push out, I'll be able to create another video, but you can just see some of the tone difference that you can do with just the normal, regular, uh, enhanced or magic enhanced option. But there's a lot of really cool things such as astrophotography and a couple other things they added in. I can't remember what they all are, but I will update you once I notice it. So make sure if you get that update, you download the latest Samsung Galaxy X application to get even more camera features. Feature number four is a custom camera widget. Now this makes it very simple to go into the exact mode that you use all the time. So all you have to do is press and hold anywhere on the screen that is empty, tap on widgets, and you choose this option right here called custom camera. So once you add this one to your home screen, you're able to customize it. So how do you want it to open up how you want it to look? So you can put in a title of the widget if you want to change the title of the widget. You also have where is your starting mode? What do you want it to do? Do you want it to be on the front camera for portrait or front camera for pro video? Or if you want it to be the rear camera and you always use the portrait mode. So I'm going to keep it on rear portrait. And then you can also choose where you want the images to be saved. So if you wanted to, you can create your own album that is only done through this little camera widget, but I'm just gonna simply choose camera and you can even change the widget background. So either you can just use the most recent application in the camera album, or you can actually select a specific image. So if you know that you're gonna always use this one for your portrait, then you can basically just put a portrait image right there so you know exactly which one you are using. So here it is, this is what it looks like. If I changed the album image, then I'm able to see exactly what I'm taking a picture of. And again, like I said, you can change the title of it as well. So I'm gonna show you another example of another one. So let's go inside of widgets. And if you don't see it on the very top, you, all you have to do is scroll down and you're gonna see the option for camera and it's just sitting right here. So custom camera, we're gonna add in another one. So this one right here, I'm just gonna call this one front. And then this way I know for a fact that this is gonna use the front facing camera. So again, I wanna use the front one and this time I wanna use it as a portrait video. And then we're going to go right on back. And for this one, I could put it into a different one or I can just put it inside of, I'm going to put it in screenshots so you can see that it's a different image. Again, you can choose whatever image you would like to use from any of your galleries. So now that we got a second widget going on, you can see that I have two of them. And so now when I open this up, it's going to open up the portrait mode for the rear camera. And then if I open this one up, it's going to open up the uh, portrait video for the front camera. So again, it makes it very simple for you to choose the exact mode that you use all the time with one tap. Now feature number five, I'm actually gonna combine two different small features into one. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone, but let's say that you go inside a video, it makes it very, very easy to change the quality of your frames per second and the resolution. So if you want the full HD 60 frames per second or ultra HD 30 frame or 60, 8K, 30, whatever the case may be, you're simply able to change you know, the resolution and you can simply even change just the ratio as well. It's very similar up over here. You can switch it between your 12 megapixel, 50 megapixel, 200 megapixel, or whatever your phone may have. Just remember when you do switch, you're changing the different lenses that you're doing. So that's why it's going to limit on what exactly you're able to do with some of the zooms and such. But mostly when it comes down to the video, it's gonna be dealing with the resolution. They made it very, very easy versus the previous version. And the other thing is right here, you can see that it's very easy for me to flip up and down to 
switch the camera. So if I want the front camera or the rear camera, a simple swipe will be able to do it. That's what I'm used to, but maybe some people out there would like to turn that off. So that is something that is new when it comes down over into Samsung One UI 6.0 is that you can actually turn this off. So swipe up down to switch cameras. So if you accidentally swipe, cause maybe you got something on there, maybe a piece of hair, eyelash, or a piece of uh, you know rain or something, and you try to swipe it, then you just switch the camera. Now you have to go back to the mode, find your mode, go back to the lens and everything else. So this is where you're able to actually turn off that option. And really all that's gonna happen is you're gonna now have to hit this very, this, this one button on the bottom right hand side to switch it from the front and the rear. So again, you are able to turn this on, turn it off with this option right there. Again, brand new on Samsung One UI 6.0. Now the last feature that I wanna cover pertaining to the camera and the gallery is gonna be a couple things. There's actually two that I'm gonna cover in this one. And with this one, if you take any image from the gallery, if you swipe up, you actually have quick edit options that were not there from before. Originally, you always had the details and the information of the picture, but now you can actually edit things right from here. So I can change the background effect, I can remaster it, I can do an object eraser. This one right here has a remaster, object eraser. So as you go through a bunch of different things, you can see what you're able to do. Object eraser, looks like remaster, Looks like that one is the exact same thing. Background effect, remaster, object eraser. So a lot of these is gonna have a couple, like two or three options that you're able to do. The other thing is when you actually go inside of the edit option, this whole screen right here kind of had a little bit of a facelift. So you can see the UI change when you go through all of these things sitting right here. They made it very easy to you know make any of these changes. You can see the change right there with that light balance and that little circle, using that little pie graph and such. Uh, all the different changes are sitting right here. And then anything that you do, you can actually go back or you can actually re-put it back in. So you can either uh, reapply it or you can undo anything. You can also save it and you can always revert. So basically Samsung did everything that they could think of when it comes down into editing a photo. You have all the different options. You have so many different things you're, that you're able to do. You also have a redo button or basically a undo button. And then you can go back into what you just did so you can reapply something you can save it or you can even revert to the original image from the very get-go. So a really good facelift inside of the photo editor. Now I'm gonna do one more thing. I actually didn't have this on my list, but this one just came up and I have to show it off. If you go inside of your gallery, you take a look at your albums. On the bottom right-hand side, you have an option to now go into the Galaxy Studio. This is a video editor that allows you to do way more and it actually saves everything as its own project. You can go back inside of the project, you can make edits, you can make changes, you can even save it as its own video, and you can also go up there, you can resize it, you can reformat it, you can share the movie, you can rename it, do whatever. There's so many things that you're able to do inside of this one here. And let's say that I go back inside and I go back inside to edit, you might notice that I'm putting in a couple different lines here. So even if I wanted to add in more music, I can actually add in some music as well too. So not only do I have my video line, I have my text line. I can also put in some stickers and some images and I also have music. So you're gonna see two or three lines just like any other video editor out there on your computer or laptop. So that was everything I wanted to cover in today's video. It's actually a little bit more than what I have written down. That's about six or seven different brand new features that you're able to do inside the camera and the gallery that is built on Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. Now again, if you wanna watch more of everything else, I will be placing those little links below the video inside the description, taking you over into a couple different videos, showing off everything else. And I'll keep on covering this since it is being pushed out currently. Now hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.